Hi, my name is Paveo, and I work at Books Factory. On behalf of our CEO, Danielle, today I'll be talking about color management. Listen, Paveo was forced by the boss to tell you about technology. <laughs> And, well, he's a little shy, a little nervous, so I'll translate from Paveo speak to normal language, so you understand what he's actually saying. In a professional printing house, the goal isn't just a nice-looking print, but a print that meets the standard. In Europe, the most common standard's Fogra. Using these standards ensures consistent results, both across different printing devices and between different printing houses. Paveo just explained the whole idea of standardization, but let me tell you what it really means. Basically, it means that no matter where you printed your books before, we'll make sure they look just as good here. Whether you printed them in China, the US, or another printing house in Poland. Now, let's take a look at how we do it. Every printing machine prints a little differently. Color management allows us to achieve consistent results across various devices. Ideally, a machine should be able to reproduce more colors than we actually need. That way, it's easier to narrow its color range to match the standard. We got a bunch of machines here. One, two, three, four, five. Initially, each of them behaves differently. But, thanks to our adjustments and experience, in the end, they all print exactly how we want them to. Soon I'll be profiling a new type of paper. First, I made sure the machine was working properly. It wasn't. Next, I perform linearization. Linearization is a calibration process where we print pure CMYK color grids with a specific optical density. Basically, it's about controlling ink coverage. After that, I move on to profiling. First, I print measurement patches containing different CMYK combinations. Then, I measure them with a spectrophotometer and use specialized software to analyze the print and create a properly calibrated ICC profile. Kano made me say all this nonsense, which I have no clue about. So, yeah, this isn't some fancy gadget for, I don't know, magic tricks. And no, these aren't 3D glasses, nor is it a paperclip. It's actually a device for measuring color accuracy. We place it on a printed sample, and then this magic earpiece tells us, Hello, hello, add more blue and a little green. And voila, the color's perfect. Honestly, I've had enough of Kato. I swear, I'm about to hit him with the bat that I have with me. Now, I'm supposed to tell you that we have some fancy software that remembers the color settings of your prints. So, if you ever need reprints, everything's stored in our system, ensuring consistency. Let me tell you something. Color management is no walk in the park. Listen, Paveo was forced to make these videos, and not just one, he'll keep making them. Leave a comment about what you'd like to learn next. Unfortunately, I'll also be forced to translate them for you later. If even one person likes or subscribes, it'll be a miracle. But I'm hoping for at least three people, then I might get a bonus. Well, let's go see the Vice President. I want to talk to Paveo Puk. He makes YouTube videos, but no one understands them. Meanwhile, I'd rather be eating a donut, sipping coffee, but no, I'm stuck making these ridiculous videos. Paveo and I joke around a lot. I can't really tell you what kind of jokes, but... Well, they're definitely not about books. And all the jokes I play on Paveo, it's just payback for him explaining things to you in such a hopeless way.